Today we're talking about how thermal cameras can be used to improve your 3D printing. We're going to discuss the ways they can be used, but we're also going to run some tests on some of our 3D printers to see if the bed temperatures and nozzle temperatures actually match up with what the printers are telling us. But before we do that, make sure you like and follow. Today we're going to use the Flare One thermal camera that connects directly to your iPhone to see what's going on with our 3D printers. But before we do that, let's discuss how thermal cameras can be used in 3D printing to improve your 3D printing process. Thermal cameras, with their ability to detect and analyze temperature variations, can play a role in improving the precision, quality, and reliability of 3D printed products. One of the primary uses of thermal cameras in 3D printing is monitoring and controlling print temperatures. These cameras provide real-time feedback on the temperature distribution across the print bed and the object being printed. This is particularly vital for materials sensitive to temperature fluctuations, ensuring consistent quality, and reducing the risk of issues like warping. Thermal cameras excel at identifying hot spots in areas of uneven cooling. These issues, if undetected, can lead to defects in printed objects. By pinpointing these problems early, Operators can take immediate corrective actions such as adjusting the print speed or cooling rates to avoid imperfections. Thermal data collected by these cameras is invaluable in optimizing print parameters for different materials, adjusting nozzle temperature for better layer adhesion, or modifying bed temperatures for specific materials becomes more efficient with this data. Beyond just the printing process, thermal cameras assist in preventative maintenance for 3D printers. They can identify overheating components like motors or extruders before they fail, thus reducing downtime and maintenance. The use of thermal cameras offers insight into thermal dynamics of the printing process. These cameras are enabling higher precision, better quality, and more reliable 3D products. Thermal cameras can also be used in 3D printing for quality assurance as well as post-production analysis. Now let's see how our printers did. So one of the most interesting things we saw was the difference in bed temperatures. When our machine was set to a certain temperature, when we scanned it with the thermal camera, it actually showed quite a difference in the temperature. What we did is we brought out our digital thermometer to actually scan, and we saw some differences also. So what am I missing? Can someone explain why there was such a difference in the variation of temperature that the machine was set to for the bed and what our camera and thermometer were telling us. Now I know there's things such as the air around it, the ambient air, things like that. It does cool down, it heats up, it cools down. But there was a decent amount of difference. If there's any 3D printing engineers out there or anyone that uh, is engineering these things or are building the systems that heat the plates, I would love to hear why we're detecting some differences. You know, is this part of the problem? A lot of people have issues with prints sticking to plates. I'm not really sure. I hope you enjoyed this video on using thermal cameras to improve 3D printing. For more on 3D printing technology and making, make sure you like and follow Make or Build It. And remember, keep on making. I decided to scan my dog's temperature just for fun.